Yes. Our next speaker is Dr. Vladimir Stoyanov, and he's going to speak about anti-aging oligos in human skin cell aging. Sick. 
as you've got a gap when flame resins come. Initially, zips it in, and then ligands also seal, seal the gaps. So it's like the rest of the here. Right, we all know how and why does it work. Oligos reach a nuclear and bond complementary sites. Four weak bonds between the adjacent chromatid at first, and then between oligos 5 prime, 2 prime bonds. Polymerase is going between oligos and oligo and oligo and chromatid detects the problem. And as part of proof of being repaired, polymerase ability is repaired. Now we have to see the division factor, 1854 to 252 base pairs from the blunt ends via the upper protein and some base activity. This helps with the inflammation, as well as provides available three prime long strands for the polymerase to find during the next cycle. Right. <coughs> the set of the test that has to be cheap. So you just get a mineral water bottle and you cut it so that you have some space to put some water there so it evaporates all in the electric blanket and test the CO2 the incubator environment. You have to check the pH and, and, and regulate much more often compared to CO2 the incubator, but it does the job. The idea is that I should do the setup so everybody can do it and it should be simple, including school teachers, the viewers to be testing schools as well. Um, that simple it should be achieved. I recommend really the plastic and glass um, tubes rather than directly on the glass slide because this thing, which is the blood infusion set, it's used to put the growth media there and regulate how much growth media is going to go in the actual cells. But um, it evaporates a lot, so the glass slide is just really difficult. Um, I do recommend some small, tiny containers. Now, you have, as I said, they all work, the, the short oligos. In fact, because they're cheap, I do recommend using the shorter oligos. So, in old cells, you need to remember another thing as well. Every tissue, or most tissues, they're mix, mix between old tissues and old cells and new cells. The old cells, they have short telomeres, and the new cells, because you, you have supply of new cells all the time, in different organs, different ratios, but this continues almost everywhere. So, you end up in a situation where, with age, the percentage of old tissues accumulate more than the supply of new cells. So, you have to target both tissues. So, you have to treat the old cells and the new cells, because if you overextend even just the new cells in old people, this may give you some problems theoretically. So these are still too short to survive, but the new cells inside these minority cells are still okay. The estimates come that if you do it at once, because this treatment is per year, if you do it at once, then you may overextend the actual new cells. Now, this is a risk I'm willing to take. Um, I don't know how it's going to work out in a minute at all. But um, as I said, I'm willing to try. Now another thing. For the um, longer oligos, you need two types of oligos. If you're going to inject just once in the patient, and if you want to extend it, it's not just maintain it in the length, but it should extend because of these patients, for example, they, they're already in a critical threshold. They already have the state started. So you need to extend the tumor step. This doesn't mean it's going to work because they're already the state started. So maybe it's too late, maybe this is not going to help. But again, am I willing to try? Right. Those are for all those targets to reach the nuclear uh, division, the road cell. There's no nearly averages. Again, most papers which you see published. The telomere estimates there are yearly averages. But you need to consider that we have a great mixture of cells, old cells and new cells. But targeting uh, new and old cells mixture. Old tissues are a mix of mainly old cells with short telomeres closing or two or less than 5 kb. In some new cells with normal telomeres, close to and or with more than 50 kb. Doses are according to transfection efficiencies and can be spread once a week or once each second week, etc. 
this is in, in, the, in the lower dose, this is in the maintenance. Uh, again, in the case of extending the limits, this is a different, different situation. This is something that I will be willing to do in the future and then try to, to target. Uh, Elderly and fragile patients already or close to tilling a short term critical threshold are to use this treatment. Potential negative effects could occur for the minority of cells if their tumors are overextended, which could lead to chromosome abnormalities, which could lead to other abnormal states. Again, this applies only for the actual extending tumors, not for maintenance. So if you only maintain the tumors, then they, they will not be overextended. So <coughs> the number is activated, they just maintain the tumors. Um, so there's no such risk. If you only use just this one type of oligo, then there's no such risk. If you actually use the two types of oligos that they bind and extend it, then you have risk. <coughs> but when these patients are already told by the doctors that there's nothing anybody can do about it, and they're just waiting for them to die, telling them their passengers halfway on the other side, then they should be willing to try if they want to live on as far as I'm concerned. Oh, hold on, there's more. Oh yeah, this treatment increases the lifespan of individual skin cells with about 20% pan significant. If you treat the cells again when they're doing this short, you will add another about 20%. You do it again, another. Now, the pictures are messy, and you don't, you don't separate sort of a epidermis from dermis. You don't separate fibroblasts from those insides. You have to make it as simple as possible. Um, so, but again, after four doublings, for the fibroblasts of 24 doublings, for the keratin cells, they die. So you need to continue. Then you can add some dyes, cheap dyes like iodine, to see the wire cells, and try to blue to see the dead cells. You can see a bit more darker there at the top. But they, they die after that. It's really like, difficult to actually die. And distribution with dextrin uh, to the actual nuclear oligomers is it, difficult and still, I, I have to really scavenge for, for cells. Nevertheless, in 18 days, I can still see some um, fibroblasts or natural fibers and some um, insights. Um, day 22. Now, estimates. Now, that is probably, again, estimates not because of this experiment, which is apparently trying to be as cheerful as possible, but because there are so many publications that already do it. And I'm just willing to take this to the next step. So in a way, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that uh, I'm not doing this because of this experiment. This is nothing new here. It's only because 